the biggest cliche out there. Don't compare yourself to others. It's true. But, but, a big but. You have to understand that we cannot control it. It's like almost in our DNA. It's like natural for us to compare ourselves to others. How else are we supposed to know if we are doing well or if we're doing not unless we are comparing ourselves to the other people out there? But, you know, there is a healthy way of doing it. And that is such a hard balance to find. And a lot of people are always exposed to how other people are doing all the time. And they're always comparing themselves. And if you are doing that, you're going to find that uh, you start to get discouraged. You start to, you know, have negative feelings about yourself. And if you start feeling like that, it's definitely a sign that you're comparing yourself to other people at least a little bit too much. There is a balance because if you do expose yourself to the results of other people it can actually motivate you it should encourage you to do better and that there's much more bigger successes out there much more higher uh, achievements that you can get and it should motivate you but if you're always every single day every couple hours you know you see people um you know posting their big gains that they made uh, that can actually you know if you're exposed to that too much it actually can start to discourage you and you can start to feel maybe that uh you know you're not good enough or you start to have like negative beliefs about yourself and uh if that yeah if that starts to happen uh it's definitely a sign that um you're too much focused on you know chat rooms or twitter or the industry or how other people are doing and so you know the solution to that is to you know control yourself from being in that space too much so if you're in a discord chat room and everyone's posting these big gains or pnls and a lot of the times these people you know they're only posting when they're green they don't post when they're red so that's why it seems like everyone is doing well and that's oh you're always like comparing yourself to someone else's best because they're only posting their best they're not posting their red trades or they're not posting their red trades as much as they do for the green trades and these people you know they're always posting after every single trade that they make and so you know if, if you are finding yourself you're in a group like that um, or in a chat room or an environment like that it's definitely best to monitor and control the amount of time that you're exposed uh, in that way uh, to kind of keep your mindset healthy you know you want to keep your mindset healthy uh, keep your mind uh, uh, in like a state of focused on yourself focused on your process and your growth uh, because everybody does grow at their own pace. And some people, I've seen so many people like start, um, you know, making, you know, X amount, small dollars, like $10 a month, $10 a day. And within a couple months, they're surpassing people who have been trading uh, consistently a couple hundred a month. And, you know, everybody has their growth spurt at a different time. And just because you're not at a point where, you know, somebody else was you know at their at their certain spot you know two years in for example uh it doesn't mean that you are more that you're a better or a worse trader because everybody does excel at their own pace and so you know somebody at the, in the beginning might start to coast and then you know maybe year three or year four they shoot up or year five and then somebody else, you know, maybe they got the hang of it real quick. Like the first year they started to go straight up. But, you know, maybe year three or year four, you're got your growth spurt, but they're still kind of going sideways. You know, everybody has, you know, a different pace on their growth. Um, you know, everybody's different with how they learn. Uh, so you definitely have to take that with a grain of salt when you're comparing yourself to others. However, there is, you know, a benefit to, to seeing other people succeed because it can give you that motivation. So, you know, there's sort of a balance to it. So I hope you uh, got some value out of this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.